all right guys welcome back to my channel monkey wrench i'm kelly the monkey with the wrench today we're going to be working on this steel brand fs 130r now the problem i'm having with this machine we've already put a new carburetor on we've already fixed the clutch is that this pull cord is really difficult to pull you can see it lifting up off the table and i'm pushing down on it And that tells me that this thing has in need of a valve adjustment. Please subscribe. So what I'm going to do, we're going to pull this screw and this screw. And these are T25 or T27, I believe. Then we're going to pull this screw right here. And we're going to take this cover out of the way. Now that we have those three screws out, if you have to, feed your spark plug boot back through. On some models, you can leave the spark plug boot down inside and you could put this back on and it sits in there just fine but then when you try to pull the spark plug out to change the spark plug you still have to feed it through here so I usually just feed it through as I'm doing what I'm doing now right here on the top this is your valve cover if you didn't know this is a two-stroke four-stroke it takes two-stroke oil in the gas but it also has valves on it just like a four-stroke engine just like your lawnmower just like your riding mower just like your car once you get that screw out of the way there is a compression washer right there don't lose that we're gonna pop our valve cover off it just wiggles right off and there you go the inside of that's nice and clean and this is the valves that we're talking about so I will put the part number here on the screen for you Okay, once you have your cover off, what you want to do is find top dead center. Now, I took the spark plug out so I could see it easier. And what you're looking for is to turn this around until both of these stop moving. The out will be in the up position here. And as soon as I see now I'm spinning it and I can wobble it back and forth, neither one of these has any pressure on it. And that's what you're looking for. Now, Steel sells a replacement kit, which I'll put a picture on the screen now. And that includes a new washer for here. It includes a new crush washer for the top. And it includes a feeler's gauge. These are very small, and you can't really get an automotive feeler's gauge in there sometimes without modifying it but what you're looking for is four thousandths that is 0 0.004 so let me get my feelers gauge and we'll see how far off this is now if you have one of these sets I'm gonna show you right here how to do it all I'm gonna do is cut this to a point a nice thin point right in the center don't worry you can still use it in automotive bays you can even cut the tip off if you want but if you don't buy that replacement parts kits which you don't need to do this is a rubber gasket usually it comes with a cork gasket when you buy the replacement you don't always have to repair replace this little crush washer at the top when you're doing this on the fly you're perfectly fine and you want to be able to take that and slide it into the center and what you want to make sure is that it sort of drags a little bit in this case that one's wide open and so is that one. So I'm going to take a 5 16 I'm going to get an open wrench, and we're going to put it on there. And what you do is clockwise to tighten it and counterclockwise to untighten. And I'm going to lower this down until this 0 4 thousandths fits in there snugly, and I can feel it drag. It's not going to take a whole lot of movement. I kind of wiggle this way. I use my finger to brace against the motor and I wiggle it in and out while I'm tightening it. And what you want to do is find it to where it fits in there but it kind of drags. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. This thing was way out. I'd say it was out by three or four thousands at least. 
and now I've got just a slight bit of drag on each one and when I wobble that back and forth we're getting nothing so I know I was on top dead center that's all there is to it I'm gonna put my cover back on with my crushed copper washer I'm gonna tighten this back down now I'm gonna go ahead and put my cover back on and I'll be right back with you I'm gonna put my spark plug back in spark plug boot and now I should not have any trouble pulling this over normal compression you saw I was pulling on it it was getting stuck it was lifting the machine up off the table let's see what happens now look at that so nice and simple this thing was way out of adjustment on those valves and if you don't readjust those valves on the regular sooner or later they'll get so far out of whack that you won't even be able to pull this cord anymore I have found these machines in the garbage and you can't even pull the cord they're jammed up completely and people think that they fried the engine and, and all it was was that you had to readjust your valves so let's start this thing up And I'd say that's a win. As you can see, it's a whole lot easier than you thought. There's no reason for you to be pulling and jamming and lifting that thing up off the ground or the table, trying to hold it down with your feet. Steel is an excellent machine, and you should be able to just hold it and give it a few yanks and starts right up. So if you ever want to adjust your valves or you want to fix this problem, I hope this video helped. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. It's somewhere between my chin and my balls, and I'll see you soon.